You're looking at the stadium Buckeye fans, so finally referred to as the Horseshoe. And this afternoon, their number one ranked Buckeyes of Ohio State roll out the welcome mat for the Rockets of Toledo. The big cat, Andy Katsumar, winning the Buckus as a sophomore last year. This season, he'd like to take it one step further and bring home the national championship back to Columbus, Ohio. The Buckeyes won the toss, and they defer to the second half, so the Rockets will get the football first here this afternoon. Back is Curry and Harris. Harris out of Columbus South High School, and Stoltz' kick goes out of bounds at about the three-yard line. And that's where the Rockets will have some decent field position to open up this game. Remember, uh, West Virginia opened up last week. Some of the guys to look for was Sean Tate, All-American in 1995, coming back from the knee surgery. And the receivers, Ray Curry, the same high school teammate from Tate out of Detroit. And then the senior statesman on that offensive line for the Rockets, like Ohio State, they're young. Westrich, the only senior on the front. First time since 1987, they played the number one team in college football. Wallace goes upstairs right away, looking for Kreitzberg, overshoots him. At Rodney Bailey, the only returning starter. He started late for the Buckeyes last year. That's how young the Buckeyes are up front. And of course, the linebackers. Everybody in the country knows about these guys. Andy Katzenmeyer, Diggs and Rudzinski, and the secondary. Most people think this is the best secondary in all of college football. David Moore, the senior statesman there. Of course, Antoine Winfield, the All-American. Three of those four guys, candidates for the Thorpe Award in 1998. Second down now, and 10, the ball resting at the 35-yard line. This time, they keep it on the ground. And the give is to the fullback. Single setback for the Rockets. Finished nine and three a year ago. They come in after a victory with Temple. Wallace, flush from the pocket, nowhere to go. He's pushed out of bounds, and he's pushed out of bounds hard. For Ohio State, at defensive end. Lindstrom back to punt at the 25. Good kick. Sending Boston back. It hits at the four-yard line. And it gets a Toledo bounce. Boston picks it up at the two. And he is going down at the two-yard line. So the Buckeyes open up their first possession of the afternoon. Deep in their territory. The ball resting at the two. The give is to Wiley. Weaves his way through traffic. Prior to the snap, ball start. Offense, half the distance to the goal line. Don remains first. Michael Wiley. That start, 140 yards. He had 121 yards against Wyoming, but he did not start that game a year ago. You heard about David Boston, but you put D. Miller in that mix, and definitely the best tandem in the country. And then you look at Rob Murphy. He's the All-American. And Brooks Burris, actually the only senior on the offensive line. They give up the middle. Gain of one at best. Now the Rockets defensively. The guy's trying to stop the number one team in college football. But Toro had a couple of sacks last week against Temple. He anchors that defensive front. Matt Valent, 122 tackles a year ago, nine against the Owls seven days ago. And in the secondary, Kelly Herndon. He's the guy that uh, the coaching staff at Toledo really expect big things out of for Herndon here in 1998. Second down for the Buckeyes. Jermaine wants to go upstairs. He has Boston at the eight-yard line. He's across the 10 and dropped close to the 15. So you've got D. Miller on one side coming at you. Number nine, David Boston. I mean, five times on third down situations, they converted. And this time, the ball is dropped at the 20-yard line. So allowing Jermaine to get hit. On Thursday, they even were trying the flea flicker pass. Give to Wiley. Hits the left side. Some running room across the 20. Finally goes down at the 23-yard line. High formation. Wiley behind Keller. Pitch goes to Wiley, cuts it back across the 25 to 30. He's got some running room. Midfield, 45, 30, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Michael Wiley. 76 yards. That's what, they, that's what they mean by he can break it at any time. That's what they like about Michael Wiley. He's a guy that can hit the home run at any given time. Off one of Oroville. Bartholomew Hall splits the uprights and the Buckeyes score quickly. They're up on the Rockets, seven zip. We're back with more after this. Debut of a freshman quarterback with the name of Mr. Arch Leister. That's right. This time the kick goes into the end zone. It's Harris. There's Chris Wallace now trying to get things going. Wallace broke 10 records at Toledo in 1997 comes out shooting for the fullback Just to chase Chester Markle around the Packers. He tried to take three guys on single set. 
The give is to Tate. Tate's across the 25. Up comes back with 3,528 yards. Second only to Ricky Williams of Texas among active players. Actually, no call on that one. So they'll bring on the punt team. Four, average 40 and a half yards a kick back in 1997. This one's not so good off the side of his foot. It's at the 46, and Boston fumbled the football, and he jumped on it, but finally, I believe it's Antoine Winfield, former tight end, and right now he's watching his Rockets trying to stop the number one team in college football. Boston at the 40. And Boston finally drops at the 32. D. Miller, many consider this the best receiving tandem in the country. Penalty flags, some movement again. Prior to the snap, ball starts. Offense, five-yard penalty. Don remains first. We talked with Gary Pinkle yesterday afternoon. He says, that's obviously the key. Jermaine wants to go upstairs again. Finds his man. Miller at the 10. And D. Miller's in the touch for the touchdown. D. Miller was wide open. You can't get any more open than that. There was some kind of breakdown there as far as Toledo's defense. The kick, and he has his second PAT of the afternoon. So 9.39 to go on the first 15 minutes of this ball game. The Buckeyes have opened up a two-touchdown lead. You're watching Big Ten football from ESPN+. Plus. He looks stuffed, if you ask me. <laughs> I hope that squirrel's all right. Well, maybe he won't be around to watch the rest of the ball game. But he's watched the Buckeyes take a two-touchdown lead. Ray Curry at the goal line, and he has stumped. And Chris Wallace is struggling early. He said, bring the Buckeyes on. We'll see what happens on Saturday. Single setback. But the give went to Dwayne Harris. Then Ohio State's offensive line. There's some players down there. That is an interesting point. Wallace leaves the pocket, goes downfield, and it's picked off. Damon Moore. And it's Ohio State football. In so the ball resting on the 18-yard line. The Buckeyes in the red zone against West Virginia. Perfect five for five. Three touchdowns and a couple of field goals. Wiley with the lane. Wiley at the 10 goes down at about the nine-yard line. Average of uh, a little over two minutes. High formation. Keller, Wiley. Jermaine wants to put it up. He's got D. Miller. And Miller's dropped to the five-yard line. Naturally. And uh, Jermaine has taken some shots but always gets a numbers of the red zone last week as we said all five impressive group right there Jermaine upstairs fade pattern Boston touchdown Ohio State that's just pure athleticism on the part of David Boston he wanted to football and went up and got the two guys he gets to play catch with it's a very big possibility well, Boston came in only 55 catches shy of Chris Carter's all-time reception record at Ohio State. And there you see the numbers, seven minutes and six seconds to go. We're still in the first quarter. And the Buckeyes up by three touchdowns, 21 to nothing. Not only an outstanding recruiter, but he's got uh, one of the finest assistant coaching staffs you'll find anywhere. At the three-yard line, it's Harris. Harris across the 20, dropped at the 23. <laughs> like yesterday. Yeah. Alonzo was running down quarterbacks here for the Buckeyes. Rashawn Tate, and he is met. Second down, seven, the ball on the 12-yard line. I formation for the Rockets. First quarter, Rockets trail by three touchdowns. They're keeping it on the ground. Tate again. This time, he cuts back, has some running room across the 20. David Moore will bring him down, but not until he reaches the 34-yard line. Picking up 99 against Boston College in the opener. Tate again, this time hits the left side. Look at this defensive front. I was talking to Fred Pugich yesterday. So it wasn't really until I watched the West Virginia game as third and ten on the 34. Straight drop back. Wallace. Not too much running room. He's going to be driven out of bounds. Matt Lavar. Boston waiting back at his own 20-yard line. Third kick already in the first quarter. Boston fumbled it. Well, it's Gary Barry back at the 20. He fumbled. So Boston and Barry both don't try to pick it up, but Gary did pick it up and was successful. Another fumble by Ohio State. There's a scramble at the 25-yard line. It looks like the Buckeyes did recover. They're in college football. They don't want to give up the football. Jermaine. Boy, he checked off at least two or three receivers that time. David Boston now has caught a football in 22 consecutive games for Ohio State. Shotgun formation this time for Jermaine on third and nine. Lots of time. A little miscommunication, nothing. Good kick by Bartholomew. Turner is driven back to the 20-yard line. He's got some running room. 
up across the 35, and he's tripped up at the 40. Just a half a week ago, I was in Iowa City. It was only 7 to nothing over Central Michigan. The Hawkeyes finally won that one, 38 to nothing. Andy Katzenmoyer. Prototype linebacker. He may write the book. It, they, they may name awards after this guy when he's all done. Wallace trying to buy some time. A little here in this ballgame. Well, the Rockets started 8-0 last year. A little swing pass. It's Harris. And he has run down immediately to 20. Fumble the last. It's a short kick. It was almost blocked. Percy King almost touches it. Barry's going to try to return it. Puts his head down. Gets across the 30 up to about the 32-yard line. Buckeye starting. At their own 32 yard line, they start with the I formation. Joe Montgomery, this time he has some running room. Power run up near the 40. He had a devastating knee injury back in 96. They didn't think he'd play football again. One. One. Yeah. D. Miller, quick out. Be at the end of last season's clear, clean up some scar tissue. But he's back. Prior to the snap, we have a substitution infraction. 12 men in the huddle. Five yard penalty. 12 men in the huddle against first. Ohio State. No doubt about that. First and 15, the ball at the 40. Jermaine. He makes the rush almost picked off. Wisniewski dropped the football. As we just want him to run the ball, a lot like Bobby Hoying in his senior year. They told him sometimes you have to tuck it up and run it. Complete to Boston again at the 45 yard line. Jermaine doing a nice job of picking up the corner blitz that time. It looked like Malin wants to come again. This time, Jermaine undershoots his man. D. Miller, after watching it, he about got cut in half, and he got up. Bartholomew, nice high kick again. Harris with the fair catch. Let's it roll. It goes into the end zone of the Rockets. We'll start from the 20-yard line for the top receivers in all of college football. That one for 37 yards. And once again, Chris Wallace is running for his life. Has finished uh, number two in scoring defense of the nation in 96 and 97. We'll talk more about that later in the broadcast, considering the fact they lost so many players from the 96 team. Wallace lays it up there, and it is picked off by Ohio State. It's Plummer. On the preceding play, I said Plummer was licking his chops. Right now, they have the ball at the 45-yard line of the Rockets. 12 seconds to work with before they put this first quarter in the books. D. Miller gets his second carry as the Buckeye is first coming last week. So we played 15 minutes of football. The Buckeyes 21-0 over Toledo. And you're watching Big Ten Football from ESPN+. Plus. Second down, six at the 41-yard line. I formation, Keller. Back by Michael Wiley. Wiley. He's got the lane. And Wiley picks up the first down from a year ago, averaging 34 points a game, or 30, 30 points a game, 34 against West Virginia a week ago. Bottom of your screen is David Boston. They go the other way. It's Wiley, the short side of the field. Tries to turn the corner, but he's driven out of bounds. It's Wallace through those 27 touchdown strikes a year ago with a minus one in passing. Wiley is hit hard on the line side. Fighting back from that serious knee injury. This time, a quick opening. It's Keller. He's got some running room. Keller down to the 10-yard line. Well, they carried it twice against West Virginia, but for 16 yards, averaged eight yards a crack. Joe Montgomery, good cutback. Montgomery can smell the end zone. Touchdown, Joe Montgomery. And a great block there to clear Joe Montgomery by number 23. We were just talking about him. Matt Keller. I said, Matt, what do you feel better about scoring touchdowns or throwing that big block that leads to a touchdown? This year at Ohio State. Stoltz, his fourth kick of the afternoon, and he drills it through the uprights. 13-37 to go in the first half from Ohio Stadium. The Buckeyes now lead it 28 to nothing thanks to number 33, Joe Montgomery. An eye on everybody. One of the uh, sheriff's deputies here in the stadium. Good time of the year to sit up there. Take on Illinois in November when the Gale winds are howling. Five receivers. Trips at the top of your screen. Three-step drop. And Antoine Winfield. I'm just uh, injury-free. So he can take aim at another MAC championship. Well, Sean Tate. Antoine Winfield could win the Thorpe. Moore is a candidate. Gary Berry is a candidate. But then you compare it to uh, the 96th defensive secondary. Well, Ray Curry, line of Ohio State. Lots of pressure, but Lindstrom gets the end-over-end -end kick. And Barry at the 45, across midfield. And he's back in his own territory, thanks to good coverage. Up 28 to nothing over the Rockets of Toledo. 12-29 to go in the first half. 
Buckeyes have it first and 10 of the 47 yard line. Jermaine swings it out to the fullback and he is tripped up all over Bowling Green. And Purdue now. Rice closing it on the Boilermakers. Duke up on Northwestern by a touchdown. Keep it on the ground again. What do you think? You look a little bit like Eddie to you? <laughs> Well, he averaged 6.8 yards every time he touched the football a week ago. His first college football game. But it's not the same when you're playing the number one team in the country. Play action over the middle. And it's tipped. Otherwise, it would have been complete. To Kevin Griffin. Over the middle. It's complete at the 25-yard line. He has two here this afternoon. High formation. Martin and Wells, two true freshmen. Some pressure and Reggie Germany. Dog days of summer, that's where it pays off. Hot days like this. That's Germany at the top of your screen. This time they'll keep it on the ground. It's Wells. He's got some running room at the 20, and he's dragged down by number two, Ira Singleton. In front of 95, 96,000 people. First time he's come running down the tunnel. This time it's Wells. He stopped at the line of scrimmage. Stoltz. Will attempt a 36 yard field goal. Last year he was five for five from this distance. And the kick is up. And it's off to the right. So Danny Stoltz, who had 92 points in 1997, is five points shy of Vlade Yanakievsky. Going after the football, laying out for it. So the Rockets trying to do some damage now, and Wallace, one step drop, and that's when really frustration starts to get into a quarterback. You ever play quarterback, and you, the defense is all over you. You start second guessing yourself every time, just like that time right there. Another interception, it's Diggs. Niall Diggs at the 10, fighting his way, knocked out of bounds at about the five yard line. It's 27 touchdowns, nine interceptions. He's got three here this afternoon. Jermaine quickly goes for the juggler, and Reggie Germany lights up the board with another touchdown for the Buckeyes. He was wide open. Beat Jamal Turner on the play. Nothing real fancy. It's a center, you know, they, Stonehand. They timed it well, but I think as the ball was released, you might have tripped and fell. <laughs> Thanks. Stoltz drills it through the uprights. And the Buckeyes with 8.43 to go in the first half. They vote up and up a 35 nothing lead over the Rockets of Toledo. Time against the Mountaineers. Six true freshmen. And now as Harris awaits the kick, I think we're going to see a lot of true freshmen maybe here this afternoon. Short kick this time by Ohio State. And Belisari's down there quickly. And I'm telling you, he three. Here he is, a quarterback. He's number three on the depth chart as a safety. That's got to be a thrill. Wallace finally has some playing time and overshoots his man. At about the midfield strike. The Buckeye defense has been all over him. Can't blame him for rushing his throws. And here's a guy who's put up some huge numbers. And now he finally completes it, but they drop the football. I think that's a pretty good job right there. Spreading the field. Twins to the bottom of your screen. The Buckeyes almost jump. They do. Prior to the snaps, illegal contact. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Down remains third. John Cooper with the number one team in college football. Looks like the Buckeyes are showing some blitz. The big cat ready to come. Wallace swings it out. Rashawn Tate spins, and he is driven to the ground. And Ryan Pickett. Right now, fourth down, they step up. Looked like they were going in punt formation, but instead, they come out passing the football, and it's complete to Kreitzberg. From here, it does not look like he made it. In front of the camera. Well, I take my hat off for the call. To get and a switch at quarterback Mark Garcia now, calling the shots for John Cooper's Buckeyes. And Derek Combs bounces to the outside. Combs cuts it back at the 30, and he's dropped at the 26-yard line. Garcia goes down with the, the knee injury, and Joe Germain surfaces and becomes one of the better quarterbacks in the country. Combs spins, tries to get down close to the 20-yard line. So Garcia, who had 40 touchdowns, the sophomore year in J.C. Last week, I know he really loves his breakaway speed. Coming with the blitz this time, and he swings it out to Combs. Combs, and he's going to be hit by a host of uh, rockets. It'll be a 44-yard kick. Stoltz was 4 of 11 from this distance a year ago. And the kick is up. And it hits the upright, so he was wide right on the last 
kick. This time he hits the upright. So another opportunity with 4.56 to go. Wallace hangs in there, continues the battle. A little low on his throw again. Well, after this play, I'll talk about a game when they played Centerville. Talk about some astronomical numbers. Second down and 10 of the 26. Harris, no place to go. Loss of one on the play. Twin receivers, top of your screen. Here come the Buckeyes. This time it's complete. Mel Long over the 30, and four Buckeyes will finally wrestle him out of bounds. This time, Lindstrom gets off a of beauty. Boston backing up to his own 20. Finally well, gets it at the 15-yard line. And he's got a lane, and David Boston cuts it back to the outside. Boston at the midfield stripe. Finally lunges forward. Garcia play action. He wants to go for the home run ball. Going down, he's got Reggie Germany. Germany's second touchdown of the day, his second touchdown as a Buckeye. And Garcia has to feel pretty good about that one. Just speed. Ohio State showing its speed. Reggie Germany able to get behind the defenders. And Mark Garcia, you know, we talked about this kid. A lot of people thought he was going to come in here and be the starter. And Stoltz in the extra point department is perfect on the afternoon. And the Buckeyes light up the scoreboard with another seven. That's 42 on the day, 42 to nothing with three minutes to go. So Stoltz ready to kick off again. One of the better kickers in the Big Ten has had a great day this afternoon. This time drives Harris back into the end zone again. Harris is going to take it out this time. He said, I'm tired of downing it. Bring it up to the 20. He gets up to about the 18. This time the Rockets go with the eye. And they're going to keep it on the ground. Rashawn Tate hits the right side of the line. Second down and eight. Ball at the 20-yard line. Rockets with 2.15 to work with. Keep it on the ground again. Tate cut back across the 22. I think she'd be home watching her husband, huh? Former cheerleader here. This once a Buckeye, always a Buckeye. Nowhere to go that time. Once again, that scarlet and gray. Punting situation for Lindstrom once again, kicking from his 10-yard line. Boston at the 42. Boston weaves his way down to about the 41-yard line. But uh, I got to believe if you've done a great job like he has over the last uh, nine years at Toledo that you hate playing the number one team in the land. I mean, you got a chance of college football and pull off the upset. Garcia is still at quarterback. Plenty of time. Goes over the middle. Has Germany again inside the 30-yard line. Miami won the national championship, so maybe... History could repeat itself. Buckeye fans are hoping so. John Lumpkin over the middle. Lumpkin's down to the 10 yard line. About the huddle now, 28 seconds to go. Lumpkin with one catch for 28 yards a week ago. He had three touchdowns last year. Swings it out. And Westbrooks. I mean, obviously, you don't want guys to get rusty. Garcia going for the corner, overshoots his man. Look, operative word there, veteran. Veteran hasn't seen a lot of playing time. Jonathan Wells, he's going to throw it. Wow. Oh. John Lumpkin was there spotting it at the 11 bobble the snap and this time Stoltz will not get a chance well with that man right there so wisely uh, Chris Wallace will let the time expire off the clock here in Ohio Stadium we played 30 minutes of football the number one team in the country heading for the locker room uh, leading the Rockets 42 to nothing. I guarantee you he'll be talking to his club on Monday about it well, the Rockets will try to keep the football away from number five, uh, Michael Wiley, so they go towards Jonathan Wells. But it, and he says if they're inexperienced, he looks at it in a positive frame of mind, calls it an opportunity. We'll see if they rise to the occasion. Lots of pressure. Germain steps up in the pocket, dumps it to his big tight end, who's across the 35. Up, the number's on Joe Germain. That's six cents as far as stepping up in the pocket. Some quarterbacks don't have it. And off goes to number five, Michael Wiley. It's going to be interesting to see if he gets a crack at the National Football League. Of course, he was already drafted by the Colorado Rockies in baseball. Wiley gets the call. Cut back. Across the 40, 45. And he's over the midfield strike. He had some trouble putting the ball on the turf, but he says he's going to cover up big time this year. Wiley again tries to break it to the outside. Puts his shoulders down. Being long enough for a 200-yard gain. You know, you talk about the youth and the Ohio State defensive front. But Toledo... They closed the gap that time, a gain of one maybe. First and ten, the ball at the 37-yard line. Twin receivers at the bottom of your screen. Jermaine, straight drop. Lots of time. And very wisely runs out of bounds. 
Hmm. The last couple of years, 31 touchdowns over 3,000 yards. Definitely starting numbers. And number 33, Joe Montgomery. It's a great point to bring up. You talk to Joe Montgomery, and he's, uh, he'll tell you point blank that he would have scored against Michigan. The game played right here in the horseshoe. Quick drop, complete. Boston spins near the 20, down inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Rumor had it he was going to play some hoops when he came to Ohio State, but now he's definitely focused on the NFL. D. Miller, and it's knocked away. But the Buckeyes facing a second and 10. The ball resting on the 19-yard line. This time, Wiley breaks off to the left side. Tries to cut it back in. Corner. Jermaine, quick drop. D. Miller, the 10, 5. Oh, walks the tightrope. He finally goes out of bounds. Picking up where he left off. His junior year. He's got a touchdown here today, two for the season. Michael Wiley will walk into the end zone, and Michael Wiley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. A little misdirection that time, and Toledo all went right defensively, and uh, Michael Wiley just uh, posted into the end zone. Well, the Buckeyes made it look very easy, the easy there around Michael Wiley. Well, Stoltz is on the field, drills the PAT, and the Buckeyes now, one point shy of 50. 49 to nothing, Michael Wiley. Another big afternoon for Ohio State. We're back with more college football after this. Maine putting up some monster numbers again today. Senior out of Mesa, Arizona. Boy, really, you forget the Rose Bowl victory and all the touchdown passes he's thrown. As Harris finally gets some running room, and he's uh, stood up at about the 26-yard line. Four receivers trying to spread that field. Wallace with the quick pass, and it's complete up across the 30. To a great uh, camera action on that note, because you look at Central McClellan, and he could be a starter for any college football team at any level. He's played a lot of football. The Gatorade Player of the Year uh, from the Cincinnati area, Elder High School. Straight drop, Wallace. Boy, he thought he had some running room, and that closed up quickly. City College, born and raised in Cleveland. Lindstrom, the punt again. Nate Clements, number 18, the true freshman. Let's it bounce. Goes inside the 25. It's going to be down at about the 24-yard line. I formation. Hart, the freshman fullback. Joe Montgomery and Garcia took some heat. Stiffness in his back after that one. So it's second and 10 now. The ball at the 24. Quick pitch. Montgomery looking for some running room. Puts his head down, but... Uh, so Garcia at the controls. We'll talk about Jermaine's numbers. Heat again, so three straight good defensive plays by the Rockets at the Sugar Bowl. I'll show you how he's looking forward to this season. Jermaine, 150 yards, three touchdowns on the day. And not too much running around that time as the Buckeyes. Was had a long afternoon. The record setter for the Rockets out of Springfield. And off, Dwayne Harris out of South High School in Columbus. A good run that time. Second and three, the ball at the 49-yard line. Four receivers. Quick drop, Mel Long with the completion. I think should be much better, and they're going to provide a lot of restrooms and bring this stadium up to code. That's the main thing, Mike. All right, Wallace completes it this time. Wrightsburg down to the 30. Rashawn Tate. He gets some running room. Tate, 20. Almost broke it. Dragged down at the 17. Harris, the single setback. But Wallace wants to go upstairs. The lob to Kreisberg overshoots him. Right now, Wallace would love to get into the end zone. Curry in motion. Dwayne Harris tries to spin. He's close to the 15, but Don Cooper looks on. Wallace with a third down situation. He spotted at the 23. It'll be a 33-yard kick. And the freshman trying to avert the shutout, but it's wide. So France comes up empty that game in the fourth. Garcia remains at quarterback. And Jonathan Wells still on his feet across the 30 up to about the 33-yard line. For the defensive guys just to coming around that end, slapping, trying to get at that quarterback. Oh, uh, Wells tried to do it again up across the 25. You know, who Hayden Fry played at quarterback. It's Wells trying to break to the outside up near the 30-yard line. He might have got to the 30. Looks like he got the... So another first down as the Buckeyes move the chains. First and 10, the ball at the 30-yard line. I formation behind Garcia. 
This time it's Derek Holmes, son of Grove City, who rushed for over 2,000 yards his senior year. And they like to pile up the W's in the home opener. Last time they lost, 1978. This time Garcia feeling heat one. Hmm. 20 years from now, a cold day, feel that bend of the nose. Garcia, nice play action. Rolling left and overshoots Jimmy Redmond at the 38-yard line. The Rockets. 3.49 to go in quarter number three. Nice high kick. His last kick went 56 yards. This one drives. Harris back, and he fumbled the football. Is it Ohio State ball? Yes. Indication. Buckeyes will have it at the 13-yard line. Well, they changed the call. Kickers like some action, but there's something about the nose. They hit the nose. Rashawn Tate tries to break to the outside. And he's wrapped up running pretty well here this afternoon. But his team trails 49 to nothing at the three-minute mark of quarter number three. So movement on the line. If they get back, and it doesn't matter because they have no place to go. Two years ago, that would have been career ending. Oh, really? She would. Putting on the heat, and Wallace throws it out of bounds. Robert the passer. Yeah, it's coming back yeah. against Ohio State. Yard penalty, yep. previous spot. First down. So it's first and 10 of the 29-yard line now. Freeman in motion. The Tate gets the call. Tries to spin inside the 30. Twin receivers, bottom of your screen now. Second and nine, 31. It's Freeman in motion. Trying to buy some time with the play action. Wallace feeling the heat. Throws it out of bounds again. Buckeyes want to come. They're showing blitz. Prior to the snap, we have defense in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty. That goes against Ohio State, so Kreisberg did jump. And twins at the top and bottom of your screen. Wallace with some time this time, but he's run down, and he's finally dropped. It's again, Nate Clements, the true freshman out of Shaker Heights, back to receive for Ohio State. It's a low line drive kick, but it gets a Toledo bounce. And it's going to go inside the 20 yard line. It's finally. Again, Garcia with some pressure, but he gets the pass off. Good coverage that time. But... And actually, Combs doing a nice job after the fake handoff of picking up the blitz that time. But Garcia was rushed with the throw. Combs with the call. It's the right side, across the 20, up to about the 22 yard. That's the end of quarter number three. It's still 49 set Buckeyes over the Rockets. And you're watching Big Ten football from ESPN Plus. 49 set. Third and seven out of the 22 yard line, working out of the shotgun formation. And Garcia feeling the pressure once again. The Rockets, Gallant all over him. And it's going to be incomplete. It's a long kick by the Buckeye senior out of Florida. It's off of beauty this time. Nice spiraling kick. And Turner's going to take it at the 30, but he calls for the fair catch. A lot of Buckeye fans, he is their favorite All-American. Play action, still trying to buy some time. Dwayne Harris at the 15, 25-yard line. Dead ball. First of all, late hit. Defense, 15 yards. Well, once again, the Buckeyes flagged. The Rockets move the chains a little bit further downfield. Now the ball resting at the 44. You don't want to get noticed that way, though. Wallace buys some time with the fake pitch. Completes it this time. Kreisberg is nailed. Now the ball resting at the midfield stripe. Rockets. 81 yards today. Another completion. It's Kreitzberg again. He's brought down at the 40. It's near. At well over 300 yards a week ago against the Temple Owls. LaShawn Tate. Running room. Drag down. Number 10, Joe Cooper. A high school football player in Central Ohio trying to face him. <laughs> trying to turn the corner. LaShawn Tate turns the corner this time. Picks up the first down. Wallace. Feeling the pressure. That's picked off. Percy King. He's immediately dropped at the 10-yard line, as is a penalty flag. 10-pound junior. An illegal block below the waist on the returning team. Half the distance of the penalty. First down. He was a Hall of Famer at a tight end. Bockerman, humble on the exchange. True freshman out of Canton McKinley. So second and 10 now. Ball still resting at the five-yard line. Jonathan Wells gets the call. He's up against across the five. Uh, ten win seasons have been the norm the last three years at Ohio State. Third and eight at the seven. Play action. Mockerman wants to go for the home run ball. 
And it's almost picked off. Alamute deep in his end zone. And the return on. No rush. Turner. Peeled back. And he had a little bit of running room. And he has stood up. He is nailed. 49 zip Buckeyes over the Rockets of Toledo. Twin receivers bottom of your screen. They'll keep it on the ground. Ohio U against Wisconsin here. The Toledo Rockets. Joe Cooper trying to get in. Put some pressure on. It's complete to Curry. Across the midfield stripe. Over the midfield stripe. 48-yard line. The fullback. Green. And he keeps turning. The backup's getting some uh, important playing time. Some experience. The pass is complete. And uh, Billick had some running room. Chester Taylor, he's wrapped up. Second and ten. That's Ray Curry. They're hoping that he was the guy that they could get the pigskin to this afternoon. But Wallace has been pressured. Goes over the middle. The big tight end, Billick, and it's picked off by Cheatwood. Nine interceptions a year ago. He has four interceptions here this afternoon. This is Steve Belisari. His first days at quarterback. Southpaw comes out throwing, and he throws a bullet. Oh, geez, singing the blues down there. Let's let's pull out the uh, the fiddles, huh? <laughs> Buckeye fans will want to remember his first attempt was a complete pass. Combs trying to break to the outside, and fourth and one now. The ball at the 27. Buckeyes go for it. And they got it. Feet chomping. Feet. I mean feet. Belisari. <laughs> Two for two, up near the midfield strike. Here, left-handed quarterback. Uh, I was going to say Bobby Douglas, but I don't know about Bobby Douglas as far as throwing the football. Oh, there's Bobby Douglas right here. Look at this. Belisari says, hey. Holding offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. And the play back. Guilty of the infraction. Belisari again. And it's complete again. Straight drop back this time. Belisari. Rolls out, incomplete, had his man, but off the fingertips. Show. Great baseball player in high school as well, but decided on for three minutes and 44 seconds before they neatly put this one away. Belisari, off the fingertips again of Cascio. He's Belisari looking downfield, has his man, it's complete. It's Warnke again, no. Nope. Another good kick by Bartholomew, this one. Sending Turner. Now Turner won't even go back. It hits at the five-yard line. And it's down at the eight-yard line. Right now, some of his backups getting some playing time. Taylor with the call across the 10 to about the 13-yard line. Taylor again. Chester Taylor running hard. Up. His first pass, it's complete. The big tight end, Nabilic. Taylor again, this time with some running room, up across the 40. For two minutes to go now. Quick handoff. Goes to number 28. That's Lyle Green for the Blue Devils, pouring it on. And they're keeping it on the ground. Number 19, Taylor again. And Taylor to Buckeye territory. 51 seconds to go. Cole at the quarterback. Taylor again. Fourth straight time he's touched the football. Tries to break it to the outside. Last play of the game now for the Toledo Rockets. And they keep it on the ground. It's Taylor again. He's stopped by Joe Cooper out of Independence. And that's going to wrap it up. And they're going to put this one in the books. The Buckeyes up 42 zip at half. And they win it 49-0 over the Rockets of Toledo. Back with our final thoughts coming up after this.